<laughs> yeah, just you know, it'd take be... Take it in the car. Yeah, or, or take it home or whatever. <laughs> yes. At least the car. Yes. Yeah, at least, yes. at least. Uh, ice cream would be very rough in this weather. <laughs> no, it, it would just like... No, yeah, just exactly. melt away quickly. Instantly. Throw your money <laughs> yeah. away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Well, it's only going to get hotter Yay. from here. I, I know I'm the bearer of great news here, uh, folks. Exactly. <laughs> here we go. Thank well, you much. Yeah, somebody's got to say it. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> yep, I'm just the messenger. Email Neil about the weather or email Casey. I don't care. Uh, there we go. But uh, the Plaza Tower in downtown, this is looking off to the north. And as you can see, not a lot going on tonight. We will be watching, however, for a few showers and thunderstorms to our north and to our northeast. We'll discuss that here in just a second. But the main story of today has been those temperatures. 5%, 10% of us did see a little bit of rainfall. It didn't last very long and it didn't mount out to much. But look at these highs. Middle 90s. We hit 100 in Hemp Hill. It was 101 at DFW, but most of East Texas in the 90s. We've fallen at least 10 degrees. It's 86 in Tyler. It's 83 in Gilmer. We're at 83 in Longview. But folks, as we've been mentioning before, that East Texas humidity has certainly increased over the last week or so, and we've got those dew points all the way up into the middle to upper 70s. That makes it feel a lot warmer than it actually is. Now, we're in the 80s. It still feels like the 90s, and we are now past 10 18 at night. So there we go. That East Texas humidity. It lasts all day and it lasts all night. Now the heat dome, it continues to build. It is out in West Texas right now. And part of the reason why we have not seen um, the really the uh, decrease of rain chances over the last several days is because it's far enough west that we're kind of at the edge of this ridge of high pressure, which means we are still under the influence of northwesterly flow, and that has brought us at least a slight chance of rain over the past few days. Now, heat alerts are out for tomorrow. You can see we are under an excessive heat warning for our Western counties heat advisory for the remainder of the area. And the reason why I mentioned those storm chances was the fact that early tomorrow morning we will be watching out for a few storms in portions of Arkansas and southeastern Oklahoma. Now, if these storms do strengthen, we could see a couple more storms in the places that saw the storms today, mainly the counties that border Louisiana there from Cass to Marion to Harrison County. Those storms move out and then we dry out. It's just going to be hot tomorrow afternoon. That being said, some of these storms could be on the strong side to our northeast. It is a marginal risk of severe weather. Tonight we're down to 79. A few passing clouds. Chances of storms to our northeast. High temperatures tomorrow afternoon, folks. A little warmer than what we saw today. We may as well add two or three degrees and then the next day add two or three more degrees because Wednesday, Thursday and Friday triple digit temperatures are in the forecast a little cooler with another chance of rain Sunday into next Monday and then deep East Texas same deal here upper 90s Tuesday likely to hit 100 degrees Wednesday Thursday and Friday Neil Casey Carson.